are you too sensitive? If someone is correcting you, and let's say that person isn't trying to be rude or mean or anything like that, do you almost always take it very negatively? Do you feel like that person is really being a way to you that they should not be? Are you being too sensitive? Myself, and I truly think it is demons, sometimes I catch myself being overly offended. And I think at times I think, why am I feeling this way? What that person said to me isn't too bad. Like, that person did not really get out of line. But why am I taking it as if that person is overstepping or that person is talking to me in a way that they should not even though what that person said to me was not wrong why am i feeling this way i believe sometimes there are times when i get really easily irritated at a person let's say while I am alone, you know, let's say I am calm, level-headed, or whatever you want to call it, then let's say I begin speaking to a person, and let's say I begin to be very irritated when that person isn't doing anything wrong. What is that? Like, why am I feeling this way? Listen now. Now, you may not find this in the Bible. And I think there is so much that is not specifically in the Bible. But from my experiences, I truly believe demons can manipulate our feelings. So if that is the case, can I really trust my feelings? Can I say, since this is the way I feel, the way I feel now is valid every time? No. I believe demons can influence our thoughts and our emotions. So just because I think it or I feel it doesn't make it valid. I believe in certain types of media or I forget exactly what it is. Um, psychology, I don't know. But if I am saying this right, maybe not psychology. Uh, I don't know what to call it. But I think they teach men and women to validate your partner's feelings. Like, I guess no matter what it is, validate your partner's feelings. Okay. If your feelings and thoughts go against the Bible, why should you validate validate that 
if how I am feeling, and let's say the way I am feeling is totally wrong, like totally off. Let's say my thinking is wrong and let's say my feelings are wrong. Why should you validate it? I should be corrected. I think I should be rebuked. Don't validate them. I think we must be careful I believe we should be careful in giving in to our emotions because if the way we are feeling is not of God, if you give in to them and if it is of demons, where is that going to take us? Like. How will the outcome be? So I have to check my feelings. I can't always go by the way I feel. I believe I make mistakes, but much of the time, I believe I try to align the way I feel and think with the Bible. Now, I am not doing everything right. I am not 100% perfect, but I believe we should strive for perfection. If you are receiving evil thoughts and evil feelings, if you see that the way you feel and think is consistently wrong, what should you do? Give in to them? No. Check them. Pray about it. You may have to tell the person you are interacting with, hey, much of the time, the way I feel and the way I think is so wrong. So please have patience with me. I am trying to change. Please help me to get back in line if I get out of line. If I begin misbehaving, please correct me because I want to change. I don't want to continue to give into my wrong feelings and thoughts. Perhaps you need to be that way because just because you feel it and think it doesn't make it right like myself just because i feel it and think it doesn't mean it is right don't we want to go to heaven don't we want to do what is right so if what we feel and think is wrong why would we want to give in to wrong stuff why because we were let's say let's say we were mistreated when we were younger so should we give in to the way we feel because let's say we feel that we were mistreated or because we may feel that we were not loved enough so just because our lives when we were younger did not turn out the way that we think it should have should we misbehave no let me stop here god bless you